Yeah, we're here at our niece's house in uh, Ohio. I made something the other day and posted it on Facebook, and some people said that they'd like to see a video of how I made this. It's a window screen I made for my vehicle. It's just made out of plastic. Let me show you these little grooves here. They fit in the window. Come on over here, I'll show you how this works. You just place it inside and push it up. Roll up your window. Now it's a little tricky getting the uh, once you get it in there good, you can pull it down on top of the window. And then you just push it up yeah, push it up a little bit, and there it is. You can open the door, you can shut it back, it just continues. Okay, now now I'm going to go and show you how to make it. Now the best part about these window screens is I'm going to build two of them for less than five bucks. You can get the product at Lowe's, Home Depot, any kind of major hardware store like that. I just so happen to get mine at Home Depot. Now you can buy these in metal or plastic. I chose the plastic because it's flexible. The metal, it's aluminum and I was afraid it was going to tear up my rubber inside the windows. But for more security, the metal would probably be better if you're worried about security. I'm not. I just want window screens. Okay. Now, let me show you what it is. It is um, a gutter filter. You basically, and they just come in about, I think these are about two foot sections, three foot sections. And you just cut them to fit. Each car is different. Each vehicle is different. So, I'm going to show you how to get this started and you have to understand you have to slowly cut it and, and make it fit the best part about it though is you mess it up it's only a couple bucks all right so let's get to that now what I usually do I just set it up there you can take the time and measure it and everything take the I mean there's you want it to kind of fit inside where the window goes in and the other one, I basically just set it up here. I put it against the window. And I kind of just mark the places that I want to cut. Like I said, you have to cut it to fit anyway. So I just mark it. And then I come down here. And I want to give a little leeway for the inside. And then I go to cut it. First one I used a pair of scissors with and a little pair of tin snips to cut this heavy piece off. These heavy pieces are harder to cut. But uh, the scissor became dull on the first one. I'm gonna try to cut a little bit with the scissors, but I'm gonna be using the uh, razor knife. And I'm just gonna use a saw to cut the uh, heavy pieces off. And like I said, you just uh, go where you start it, see I marked it here, and I kind of just cut it around, like that. It's that simple. Okay, then I find my other mark, and see, the sprinter van has a little slant on the back side. So I have to allow for that little slant, and I just cut it up. Like so. And like I said, I'm going to use the saw today because it's quicker. Oops. You can build these in under 15 minutes on each one. It doesn't take much at all to build them. Okay, now let's see how it fits. I'm sure it's not going to completely fit because this needs cut around. I'm just going to estimate it. Let's go see if it fits part about these that I like is the flexibility so they can bend they can the metal ones will not okay let's see if it fits now you just have to force it in now if they're in if they if they're too big or anything you just trim it cut it to fit let's see this one here I got a little short over here but it's enough to suit me I'm not gonna be 
particular about this because, and I will have to trim this up, but I'm going to show you if I can ever get it in there. Okay. And the first time with the windows, it's a little, it's not, there it is. Right there it is, see? I'm going to have to trim it up over here a little bit because I don't, I'm not happy with how tight it is. But other than that, you've seen how fast it was less than 10 minutes for one piece. Uh, now, you'll have some issues with little holes right here. You know, that's not a big issue for me. Uh, you just cannot cut this to fit that. But if it bothers you and you want complete bugs out, you can put something in there, whatever you feel like. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you uh, with the screens to keep the bugs and everything out. If you like our video, please like and subscribe.